हेलो एवरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर मिस अदिति अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अश्युरस टेक्निक्स फ्रॉम के के वाग इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मसी चांदोरी नासिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक पाउडर्स दैट इज प्रॉब्लम्स इन्वॉल्व इन डिस्पेंसिंग ऑफ पाउडर्स फ्रॉम फार्मास्यूटिक्स टू पाउडर्स द प्रॉब्लम्स इन्वॉल्व इन डिस्पेंसिंग ऑफ पाउडर्स द टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड आर एज फॉलोज डेफिनेशन ऑफ पाउडर problems involved in dispensing of powders powder a pharmaceutical powder is a mixture of finely divided drugs or chemicals in a dry form meant for internal or external use a powder is a dry bulk solid composed of a large number of very fine particles that may flow freely when shaken or tilted dispensing of powders involving special problems that is first volatile substances certain vegetable powder contains volatile oil to prevent the loss of volatile oils these vegetable drugs must be powdered lightly in a mortar also the menthol camphor and essential oils takes place incorporation in powder final product packed with double wrapping dispensing of powders involving special problems in that second hygroscopic and deliquescent powders absorb the moisture from atmosphere are called hygroscopic powders absorb the moisture from atmosphere and convert into solution are called deliquescent powders for an example ammonium chloride ammonium citrate pepsin phenobarbital sodium iodide etc such substance are usually provided in a granular form in order to expose the less surface area to atmosphere and avoid convert into fine powder such powder should be double wrapped then third one that is effervescent powders the some crystalline substance liberates the water of crystallization wholly or partly on exposure to humid atmosphere for an example citric acid caffeine ferrous sulfate etc so this problem overcome by mixing or incorporate with inert substance or using anhydrous slag the next that is eutectic mixture that is a liquids in some prescription the liquid medicaments are also incorporated with the powders in that case if liquid quantity is small it may be triturated with the equal amount of powder then the reset of the ingredients are incorporated in a small proportions with continuous stirring the next one potent drugs the substance having a maximum dose of less than 60 mg and poisonous substances are called potent drugs it should be difficult to weigh on dispensing balance for that firstly potent drug incorporated with the diluent such as lactose before weigh for an example dispense following powder in a five powder packets that is rx codeine phosphate 10 mg in that case weigh 100 mg of codeine phosphate and 900 mg of lactose mixed with ascending order with the help of spatula out of 1 gram of triturate weigh 100 mg of each powder contains 10 mg of codeine phosphate and pack in powder paper then granular powders some solid medicaments required to administer in a orally in the large doses and it's not possible to convert into tablet or capsule because a large number of them will be required to take single dose and these medicaments are difficult to dispense in a powder form because it's bitter nauseous and unpleasant taste in this case solid medicaments mixed with the sweetening flavoring and coloring agent with the suitable granulating agent to moisten the powder to make coherent mass then pass through sieve number 10 to make the granules and dry in a hot air oven at 60 degree celsius and after drying pass through the sieve number 20 and pack into wide mouth containers for an example nowadays the antibiotics like erythromycin ampicillin etc are available in granular powder because they are unstable in liquid form what we learned from this chapter or from this presentation powders that is problems involved in dispensing of powders the learning outcomes are what is powder and problems involved in dispensing of powders so in this presentation we discussed the 
definition of powder and also the problems involved in dispensing of powders okay thank you